Is it possible to have a nano tank, some would consider a 10 gallon a nano tank, others would say perhaps a 5.5 .5 gallon or even smaller as a nano tank, but is it possible to keep Endler's live bearers and cherry shrimp together successfully. Well, if you want to have loads of cherry shrimp, the best course of action is to have a shrimp only tank, no fish at all. However, with these wild type male endlers live bearers, they're quite small and don't tend to devour all of the shrimplets. It helps to have lots of foliage for the shrimplets to remain hidden. I thought that this cherry shrimp colony would die off as the fish devour the shrimplets and the adults expire. However, it appears that the shrimp population in this tank is holding its own. There are probably two dozen male endlers live bears in the tank and as you can see they're very active. I keep the tank at 72 degrees. I've come to believe that this is ideal for them. They can survive lower temperatures being hardier than guppies. So initially I wanted to get the fish because I thought I could keep them in unheated tanks ideally with shrimp. However, once I acquired some endlers, began to do more research and I think 72 is best for them. Higher temperatures are not at all good for the plants. They prefer it even cooler. And shrimp, although they can tolerate an 80 degree tank but it tends to speed them up so much they expire much more quickly I'd rather keep them at something comfortable for them I've noticed that the different types of flat algae on these rocks isn't causing an issue at all. It doesn't spread to the plants. It's not fuzzy and unsightly. And as it gets thicker and thicker, the two rocks which initially were a bit different in color had more and more contrast and interest some of this algae looks almost like lichen in the way it's patchy and rings of it dot the hardscape of course most types of freshwater algae are harmless for the fish it's just that the fuzzy type and long stringy type make an aquascape unsightly I merely continue to do small water changes and knock algae off the glass feed the shrimp and the endlers 
quality fare on a daily basis and this tank is probably my best aquascape. 